Thank you. The very first time I ever performed a song as part of a talk was just over 14 years ago. It was a group of 70 businessmen, fairly conservative, and on a dare, speaking on sales, I closed my presentation with a version of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I want it that way. Changing the words to I want a sale today. It was absolutely terrifying. And although I got a standing ovation, it was over a year before I did it again. And then I did it again and again. I found that people began to respond differently to me. They began to learn more intimately. They began to uh, just question more effectively how this could apply to their lives. And now every engagement includes at least one song. This particular song I wrote for the entrepreneur, the solopreneur, the salesperson, the business owner, commissioned salesperson, but really anybody that's ever taken a chance on themselves. Do we have anybody like that in here? There's a little something like this. At first I was afraid, I was scared as heck. I thought that I could never live without my steady check. Oh, but I spent so many days in a job I could not stand. I made a plan to stop working for the man, and so I quit my nine to five. I started working for myself, and now I'm finally alive. Should have done this so long ago. I finally broke free, and now I love my boss because now my boss is me. <laughs> it's time to go. Go for it all, I will find a way, I will win today, I will get up when I fall. I'll be the one to work the hardest for it, I may stumble. And I will never quit, this is it. See, I will commit, as long as I know how to breathe, I will keep going for it. I got everything to gain, I got all you folks to train, and I'll commit, I will commit. Thank you. Thank you. Life changes when we make commitments. Six short years ago, I found myself stuck in every possible area you can imagine. I was mentally dull, emotionally struggling, physically in worse shape of my life. I was heavily in debt. I was drinking excessively, and this was on a pretty good day. And I've been to all the seminars. Look, it was my form of a midlife crisis. When men have a midlife crisis, at least men in America, we have a couple of go-tos. What do men typically go to in America when they have a midlife crisis? Cars and women. These are the correct answers. <laughs> but you know, these things require money. <laughs> I did not have any money. I was speaking in Vancouver, British Columbia last year, and I asked a group of entrepreneurs, what do Canadian men do when they have a midlife crisis? And someone said they go shoot a bear, eh? <laughs> I did not know that. I did not go shoot a bear. Uh, I did not go to cars. I did not go to women. I went to this run called the Tough Mudder. Have any of you heard of this run called the Tough Mudder? For those of you unfamiliar, it's a 12-mile obstacle course. There's a lot of mud. There's running. There's jumping. There's swimming. There's electric shock. And for some reason, this seemed like a good idea. <laughs> so I ran this thing, and it changed my life, changed the way I related to obstacles and challenges in my life. I wrote a little song about it. It goes a little something like this. It was a beautiful morning one Saturday as I began to make my way to do this thing they call the Tough Mudder. Well, I trained for it and I could hardly wait, but I guess I did not anticipate this was no ordinary run, my brother. We were crawling through mud and under barbed wire, jumping over walls and running through fire, swinging like monkeys, all kinds of crazy stuff. By mile three, I was battered and bruised. I had five pounds of mud and rocks in my shoes. I guess that's why they call this mudder tough. But I'm one tough mudder. I get her done. It ain't always pretty. It ain't always fun. But I'm one tough mudder. I fight to the end. 
Life gets muddy, I get tough, my friend. Well, around mile seven, my hip got jacked. As I slowed down, I thought about the fact there's a Marine running this thing with a prosthetic limb. So I fought the pain and I ran. I said a prayer for that man and all the wounded warriors just like him. Because he's one tough mother. And he got her done. He fought for our country so we could have fun. He's one tough mother. He fought to the end. Life got muddy, he got to my friend. We've been going three hours now, no looking back. Is this mile 12? Man, I'm losing track, but I will finish this tough mother for sure. So we walked the plank, we jumped in a lake, we swam 50 yards across to the bank, and there's just one more obstacle to go. Looking ahead, and what do I see? The sign says electroshock therapy. We gotta get through these wires to get to the end of the run. I am telling you, man, you sure can move fast with 10,000 volts shocking your ass. We crossed that finish line, we got her done. It was one tough mugger. But we got her done. It wasn't too pretty, but man, was it fun. It was one tough butter. We fought to the end. Life got muddy, we got tough, my friend. See, life can be tough with its twists and turns. You just keep fighting through the bruises and burns. You gotta fall forward and get back up again. Cause you're one tough butter. Then you get her done. It ain't always pretty. Hey, it ain't always fun. But you're one tough mother. You fight to the end. When life gets tough. Get muddy, my friend. <laughs> Thank you.